Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to some more Dominions 4 multiplayer showdown. This is episode 10, turn 21. And we left off the pretty big setup last time. Not going to click this yet. I don't know what happened. I haven't looked at anything. I haven't even clicked on this. Um, I really don't know what the outcome was of anything. But we're sure going to find out. Um, very exciting. We left off last time attempting to break the siege. Massive army of Vanheim forces at our castle doorstep. We had a choice. We either held up inside the castle, waited for them to break the gates down and come in after us. Or we open the gates ourselves and we come out after them. I made the decision to try to break the siege. Now, we're going to witness the outcome. And this is going to decide whether or not the game continues for the Ashen Empire. Or whether or not this is the very last episode we're going to see. So let's go ahead and take a look. Alright. So far... Um, we had a cave captain claim the brass throne and the name of for those about to rock. <laughs> Fantastic. And, uh, our battle. So let's go ahead and watch the battle. See what, uh, happens. I'm actually really excited for this one because I had a massive force. So here's our actual army here. I'm going to pause it real quick. We're going to really take note. So here we go. We've got Vanheim's forces here. They've brought some wet ones with them. They've got a few archers, some heavy infantry, and a whole lot of, uh, a whole lot of sacred units. Um, boy. Like that could be kind of rough. Couple boars, which give them extra supply bonuses. They're going to need that when they're in my territory. Bert the commander. And what one captain? Okay. And here's our army here. We are rolling deep, undead wise. Wow. We've got, you know, our Lich King right there in the center. He's casting some spells right now. Um, and other people casting blessings. That, um, he gets to cast blessings first because I'm the attacking force. So he's going to get the first move, but you can see here we're pretty well set up. Okay, we're going to kind of take this a little slow. Okay, here, here comes the arrows. Uh, not really much of an effect. We can see here um, lots of, uh, lots of, okay, so this is where it's going to start getting crazy. We got lots, I have tons of magic abilities. Um, lots of people casting unholy power. We've got animate skeleton kind of going up here. And uh, ghouls animate dead and whatnot. Glitch King casting his twi twist fate, and here we go! Holy crap! Archers moving in quick, and they get that speed bonus because of that. Uh, the uh, the special abilities and everything that I I have casting uh, being cast, which is we got bless blessings, uh, un unholy protection, pretty important protection of the uh, sepulcher. There's also uh, a pretty important one being cast you can see the cavalry here uh just absolutely closing that distance right off and getting right in there i imagine he's and you can see here he's got his units on standby in the back uh has them waiting a couple turns i figured that was probably gonna happen he's done it before he did it in the past with some of our battles um so it was expected that un uh, anime dead though just pumping out more undead units there's there's a lot of them coming up here uh, gonna be really good for bolstering our forces. If I had to make a decision, um, I kind of wish I moved my mages up just a little bit closer, but that's okay. I think those undead units will close that ground pretty quickly, especially with some of the blessings coming out. We can see there more blessings. Um, not really getting any banishes or anything, I see. Uh, I don't even know if he even has any priests, really. Like, he's got commanders in the back here. I see he kind of ran over to be protected. These guys actually have any type of... They're stealthy. They got their glamour. Um, some some experience and whatnot, but other than that, nothing else. Here comes the banishment. Okay, who's casting it? Gordon Overkill, Gunlaw Gandalf. So who's actually casting the banishment? What units? <clears throat> Where are these guys? They must be in this retinue here. I, I saw there were some special units in here. Oh, right there. I see, I see some different units. Gordon Overkill. Okay, here we go. So I want to take a look and see what we've got here. These are some pretty good, 
some pretty cool mages here sailing okay experience there's the glamour shock resistant blessed priest level two okay so this is in a little bit of blood mage interesting so this is where all these blessings are coming from uh or the banishments that is and any blessings that might be cast so we can see here here comes the, the vanguard just absolutely crushing my cavalry as expected um who i don't know it could be kind of ugly we'll see i'm really hoping and i set these units up here the soulless to kind of take the brunt of the charge uh it looks like the my actual undead horsemen somewhat absorb some of that but those anime skeletons still pumping out pretty heavy here okay and everybody moving up javelin should be getting uh tossed out into to battle soon we should see the wet walls fall uh the wet ones here fall fairly quickly I, i'd imagine more banishments coming in yikes that uh was a pretty brutal blow on us but okay so lots of undead falling uh yeah pretty expected the undead are kind of like that uh they fold pretty quickly when it comes to especially you know trampling forces or anything like that uh when these cavalry close in they're gonna do some damage and i don't see my wall of solace it looks like they've pretty much been banished out of existence so they're not going to be able to kind of provide that buffer that I had hoped. But Javelin's there going in, doing a little bit of damage up in the front to the heavy infantry. Not all that much, but at least we've got a couple ghouls here on the side. And they should actually be flanking. I set some units up to flank archers, and it looks like that's what they're actually going to attempt to do. Now, I'm hoping my undead units will eventually kind of close around. And get a little bit of flanking in there because that's really important, but uh, it may not happen. Okay, wet ones look like they are falling back. That's good. So we did break them. It's going to free up our uh, knights here. They're going to be able to kind of close in, maybe do a little bit of damage. I don't think they're going to really kill these guys. These, let's see, hit point seven. I mean, we're not too bad. We are blessed and I've got my god on the field. And that makes a little bit of a difference. Lictorian guard coming in. They're, they're pretty... Uh, that's not a Lictorian Guard. The Lictorian Guard here is actually a pretty, pretty tough unit. Death weapons, uh, no joke. Um, and with my God there, it's going to make a difference. I'm not sure if my God's going to close in and make contact or what's going to happen. Some more banishment coming out. Hopefully my priest's still casting a little bit of protection here. I'm not sure what they're doing at this point. We'll see if they cast a little bit more, but I do think it is helping a little bit. The real question is, we've seen these guys do battle with us a lot. The question is, you know, we haven't really killed very many. Are we actually going to finally see some of these guys fall? Uh, if we do, it's going to be because of pure just swarming them with other than units is really what it's going to come down to. These ghouls are trying to come around. Right there is the protection that we needed. That's going to help us uh, from some of the banishment and whatnot coming in. A little bit of banishment still dropping. But not not always hitting, so that's good. It gets lucky here and there, and then it kind of drops. Ghoul's doing an excellent flank, and with the wet ones falling back, there's not entirely too much to protect these archers. If we can get these ghouls in on these archers, it's going to make a huge difference. You know? Oh, not, not only that, but we actually got one caught on fire. That's pretty nice. Cool. Lots of anime dead still being cast. You can see the undead rank kind of flowing up into here luckily no units had did uh did try to flank my mages that was something i was worried about i left a few lictorian guards in the back here uh it was a concern of mine but i could see that it's not really affecting here comes those banishments again we lost a few ghouls uh they should go ahead and break a left here soon archers not very effective still trying to take those cavalry out but they're not doing too good these uh unholy knights here but these these units, these vans here, they are just one tough unit. The the glamour, the stealthy, they're, they're tough. So we actually take a look. Um, let's see, discovering stealthy, which I figured units with this ability are able to cast illusions to alter their appearance. They cannot be detected by enemies while moving in their own lands and are very difficult to spot when hiding in enemy territories, which is why we had difficulty finding them. We did manage to find them, but they actually had sieged us already for another uh, for one turn, and they recover fatigue. So pretty important to know, because now is a really good chance for me to kind of get a good look at his units. And I see he's got tons of heavy infantry up there. What's that? Is that like a special unit? I can't tell. 
Okay, I think the heavy infantry is about to fall back. Okay, we're really starting to get in on this now. That banishment was a little rough. I saw some units in the back there fall. Hopefully the Lictorian... I didn't have a, 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 a Lictor here fall. Okay. Boy, those animate dead though. They are starting to really fill out my numbers. Uh, just kind of providing that endless wave of undead that I really wanted to have. Still though, who we're taking a beating. I don't know. This I if we get beat by this like one massive unit, I'm gonna be pretty upset. But I will understand too. Okay, so there we go. Finally, the ghouls making contact with the archers. Some of them getting banished, but there's no way the archers are gonna be able to fight these ghouls off um, in any way that's reasonable. Oh, we've got we've got units falling back and actually trampling a little bit of their own units as well as mine. But they are falling back. Their morale completely shattered. Probably something to do with the my god coming in, actually. The awe of my god um, potentially helping to break these guys' morale. Not all of them fell, but some of them did. I'd like to see a couple more fall back. We may secure a victory yet, shockingly enough. If we can cause some more of these guys to fall back. Here comes the flank. That's going to hurt. If we start surrounding them, it's really going to hurt. Okay, that banishment coming in. Ghouls managing to dodge it. They are getting pretty beat up by the heavy infantry that are retreating. So those ghouls not going to do as much damage to the archers as I would have hoped. Thanks to the retreating heavy infantry. But still, still kind of closing around here. I'd love to see us kind of close this off. If we can get them surrounded, it's going to make a huge difference. Okay, archer go take some damage there. Okay, now with my god getting in there, that should help. I think that banishment actually hit him. He's got a lot of hit points, though. This unit here, or one of these, I can't really, it's tough to click on which units. I see that this unit looks like his glamour broke or something. Might just be a kind of a bug, too. There's another one here. Wow, undead units, though, really just getting, like, chewed up. But now we've got our Lictors coming in, and that might actually make a big difference. They're pretty powerful units with those death weapons. Um, they've got uh, the chill here, which I don't think helps, actually. Oh, maybe it does. I can't really see what it does, actually. They're cold resistant, though. Yeah, the death weapons, though, that's that's huge. That's going to help a lot. They do got a lot of hit points too. And then obviously being blessed. Uh, they just keep getting more and more um, power added to them. So now they're actually clashing in here. They're starting to do some damage. This is going to really be a pivotal, mo a pivotal moment to see whether or not our Lictorian guard is somewhat effective. I see them kind of falling up here on the front line. Some of them taking a pretty good beating. Some of our undead units making it back to the archers. Uh, and our unholy knights kind of really starting to chew into those boar. Wow, this is nuts. This battle's gone on for a long time, but I really don't. This is like the most important battle for me, for my series. So, because, I mean, this decides whether or not I lose. So, there's no point in rushing this. Um, I want to enjoy it. Boy, he is starting to lose a good amount of those, but it's, it's hurting me just as much. That Lich King, I, I, he shouldn't die, I don't think. Um, cause I think the report would have told me if he did. So I can kind of assume he's probably going to make it out of here. Even if he does die, he's just going to spawn back at my capital. But there won't be nothing really to help me at that point. Boy, those lictors though, they're really holding up. That cold does seem to be affecting these units. I think that's why they're turning those, that kind of color there. Um, maybe something I need to look up. I, I wasn't, I, I wasn't fully aware of what the cold effect actually did. But now I think I'd like to know. Okay, archers kind of falling forward or what? They're scrambling a little bit. Undead units here getting in on them. Undead units still being summoned. Okay, wow. These guys are starting to fall quick now. I'm not sure what's happening, but they are, they are starting to kind of fold to the Lictorian guard. 
archers on the retreat. That's a huge deal that takes a lot of firepower off the field for Vanheim. Most of their units have retreated. I'm not sure how many of the boar were killed. I hope I did get some of them. Uh, try to handicap his supply bonus, getting some extra shots off on the archers before they run. I see there's a couple more units back here. This is all his... Okay, he's keeping them back there. I would have loved to have seen some of them die, but I guess that's not going to happen. Unless I can beat this front line. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They're falling back. We broke their we broke their morale. That's it. They're they're totally retreating right now. I think the whole army's going to retreat. They've got a couple stubborn people up here, but their morale is completely shattered. Oh man. Oh man, and I've got units back there in the back just butchering whatever's retreating. Not a lot of units, but enough that I'm catching a lot of his archers, and I hope that keeps happening. Yeah, his units are falling back. I th the, vet <laughs> the victory is ours. The battle is won. We did it. Holy crap. <laughs> I pushed Van Heim's forces back. Oh, now all I can do is just pray for like a... Oh, sorry, I yelled into the mic a little bit. I got super excited. I'm just praying now that I managed to catch a bunch of his forces and crush them. I'm glad that I've got Eunice peppered here to kind of run him through the gauntlet on his way out the back door. I'm pretty much destroying his archers, which is awesome. Wow, just chasing him down. My army took a brutal beating, but soulless warriors and whatnot all still being summoned. I mean, this is just brutal. And these lictors here, just total VIPs for this particular battle. Once he was chewing through my ended forces, but once those lictors closed the gate, uh, the gap there and, and got right up in on, on him, that was it. And he's actually got, are these some special units or just regular? Okay, all his special units have retreated, so he's just got regular units on the field. If I could at least crush a couple more, we will go ahead and fast forward it now as we wait for the last bit. I think I'm going to catch these, or well, at least these two will die. And that's all that matters. And that's it. The battle was won. <laughs> wow. Let's take a look. Oh, boy. Um, so the siege, sieging force has been beaten by our forces. But, boy, did I take a brutal beating on that one. 220 units dead. Lots of just long dead units. We got some ghouls here. Knights, I lost three of my knights, but look at all these long dead legionnaires, horsemen, just um, all the solace, all the ghouls. Only only one lictor. Out of 31 lictors, we only lost one. I thought I saw a couple drop. We only lost one. That's a huge deal. That was a huge victory. I lost way more units, but my units are, I lost a lot of just random undead units and they're replaceable. Van Heim's forces, a little less replaceable. All his wet ones dead. Boars, I did manage to kill all of them. Vans, uh, 37 out of 49 were killed. That's a massive, massive part of his force. Um, a couple of these units, whatever they are, um, some heavy infantry, uh, pretty much all his archers destroyed and we killed his wet one captain. Uh, that's a huge victory for Van Heim and his forces just spread about all over the lands. Uh, I don't really know what to do right now. Because I wasn't expecting that. Uh, Dominion's still pretty good around these provinces, I see. I mean, my Dominion's still spread all the way out to here. Oh, boy. Uh, we got some units, but uh, we're pretty rough. We've only got one chance to make this kind of work, so I need to be careful here. I have a very small army. I lost a lot of units. Uh, I'd love to take a province back and get a fortress going, but I know that's kind of a little unpractical. Boy. It's tough. Vanheim's forces have retreated. We've got some... Let's see, the province contains about six enemy units, heavy infantry... Uh, mainly archers, his archers, heavy infantry, army consists of mainly archers. So what would make sense is for me to take a province. I shouldn't leave my fortress completely unguarded. But what I can do is I can move my army off and take a province. And then if he comes back and seizes my army with an, or sieges my, 
fort with an army that's around here, I can move back and take it. But uh, definitely should go ahead and take this opportunity to take a province back. Probably, probably this province has a much larger population, so more undead to use. So I just got to make sure I leave some stuff back here. Um, I don't need to leave anything crazy, just a unit to hold the four, uh, and I should go ahead and leave some mages to keep doing research. I halted research right, uh, right, uh, when I was going for level three, and I'd like to get that for the raised skeletons, but what I really want to get at some point is, you got raised deads, pretty important, pale riders, yeah, some of these are really important, but you know what's actually something I really want to also focus on, maybe going towards, I will show you. Not burden of time. Where is it? I saw it when I was looking around. Oh, I don't know now. Fields of dead would be really useful. Oh, the Bane Lords or something. I still want. Mound Fiend. Lictorian Legion. That's like a huge deal. <clears throat> Legion of Wits would be really powerful. With Bane Blades and Heavy Armor. So that's a big deal too. Um, let's go ahead and finish off Enchantment Level 3. That'll give us Raised Skeletons. Which I'll set all my mages up to do. So race skeletons it is. What's well, behemoth? That's awesome. So that could be useful too. All right. So let's go ahead and we'll put um, these two. They're kind of my more powerful, but we're going to put them on research. I should leave, let's see, we got 31 death gems. I should leave him back at least cast, um, I should keep going for, I want to cast Lictorian Guard again, but I really should keep going for more Dusk Elder. Um, 20 gems, pretty important. Um, I could start getting, let's see, Revive Wits. How many do I get? Um, Bane Blades are pretty important, so why don't we actually summon some of them? 20 Death Gems is a lot, but if I do grab up one more unit, I can still get a Spectator. What are you doing? Which one did I... Arrive with? Research, research. Everybody else is going to move. You're going to... Okay. Yeah, that'll at least get me some type of... Oh, I can't. Do I not have enough? 12. Oh, I'm one gem short, of course. Uh, I really want another magic unit, but... I guess I'm not getting one until I can find more magic gem sites, which is something I can focus on if I can manage to kind of come back. Is there anything that's 10 gems? An Aqualite could be useful. Um, a Bane. Um, Because I could use him as a general, but I kind of got enough right now. So why don't you just get me a Aqualite. Everybody else, I wonder if I want to leave some priests back to keep revi uh, reviving undead. At least two of them. Oh, can I? Okay, I guess I can't. Wait, hold on. Am I still? Oh, 
Okay. I'm not sure if he's... No, he doesn't have an army on me. Okay, I guess you're just going to come with this army then. So, two back to research. Cast revive. Cast revive. I should leave back. It doesn't matter so much, really. But I could put a couple units just, just for the heck of it. I don't need a whole lot. I don't think I need a whole lot. I'm just going to take this province, I think. Yeah, because they had the higher population and everything. Whatever, we'll give it a try. Worst case scenario, this could be a big mistake, but I don't know. Honestly, you know it would be a big mistake sitting on my fortress. I mean, I've got to do something. I can't just sit here. I mean, I could just sit here and, and turtle all game, but... It ain't going to do me any good. I might as well move up here. Even if I can't hold this province, I mean, I'm going to try. I'm going to give it a shot and see what happens. So that is the end of this turn. We're still in the game, at least for now. Um, not saying things are all that great, but that was a major victory crushing Vanheim's army there. Uh, pretty important. We can't be for sure how many other forces lie in uh in the dark outside waiting to hit our capital uh could be a lot it's hard, uh, hard very hard to say but uh with that being said we're still gonna go ahead try to take this province because uh, we need to do some type of expanding if we're gonna do anything uh and if it turns out bad for us then it turns out bad for us i honestly thought this would be the last uh, episode so clearly it isn't uh, maybe next time, maybe not. We'll find out. However, thank you guys for joining me. I do hope that you enjoyed it, and I look forward to seeing you next time.